Rio Plus 20 is the United Nations Conference on Sustainable Development. It's going to be a meeting of world leaders in Rio and Brazil in June and they will be looking at how we can move towards achieving sustainable development. It's coming 20 years after the original UN Earth Summit which was a really key meeting and established some of our key environmental agreements like the Framework on Climate Change and the Convention on Biological Diversity. The green economy is one of the key themes of the Rio Plus 20 meeting and a real green economy would be a fundamental re-engineering of the global economy so that it was based on a respect for environmental limits and a prioritisation of social goals. The problem is that in the pre-meetings, in the run-up to Rio, there's been absolutely no agreement on defining a green economy and some governments, including the UK government, are pushing a type of green economy that will actually make social and environmental problems worse and that WDM is therefore calling a false green economy. The false green economy is based on the idea that we are destroying nature and the commons because we don't value it properly and that therefore in order to protect and conserve we need to ascribe a value to nature and then bring it into the market so that people are pay paying the proper price for the services that it gives to us. Um, this on the surface sounds very nice, it sounds like a very nice idea but actually it's a Trojan horse and inside is um, greater access to nature and to the commons for big business and the financial sector. And what this means is that ultimately we'll only protect nature and the commons if it is financially expedient to do so. If we can make more profit from protecting than we can make from trashing. And um, what it also leads to is what WDM is calling the financialization of nature. Financialization of nature is the increasing involvement of the financial sector, so that's banks, pension funds and other big financial players, in markets and in green markets. Some examples of uh, where financialization has happened so far is um, in commodity speculation. WGM has been campaigning against food speculation for the last couple of years because we've seen how the increasing involvement of the financial sector in food markets has contributed to really high food prices making people go hungry. Another example is carbon trading. Carbon markets were established as a way of valuing air and, and the, the, the resource that air provides us and um, bringing carbon into the market um, and what this has led to is a profit for some players including financial players but not a reduction in carbon emissions. So financialization of nature leads to the increasing control of nature and the commons by the financial sector which takes away control from communities and people and leads to the increasing destruction of the global commons. A real green economy would be nothing short of revolutionary and we would need to completely change the way we think about economics and define economic success. So we need to end this obsession with never-ending growth, move towards a no-growth or a degrowth scenario. We need to completely change our consum consumption patterns, reduce our consumption and look at the relationship between production and consumption. And we need to embrace concepts like food sovereignty and energy sovereignty which are the right of people and communities to control production of food and energy in a way that meets their needs. As well as embracing the concepts of food sovereignty and energy sovereignty,
society. We need to really reverse the tide of deregulation. The financial sector has been increasingly deregulated over the last 10 to 20 years and this has really enabled it to become increasingly involved in management of the commons. Um, so we need to stop that and to instead bring in lots of new regulation that would really control what the financial sector can and can't do. Um, <clears throat> and we need to think about other policy measures such as tax, green tax reform, green public procurement and the governments and public money subsidising truly sustainable green industries rather than subsidising polluting industries. So there's a whole raft of measures that the government can and should be taking so that we can achieve a real green economy. What we really need to do is to get the debate moving on the best approach towards having a green economy and Nick Clegg will be attending the Rio meeting and so what you can do is to contact him and ask him to move away from the approach of valuing nature and bringing it into the market. You can also write to your own MP and ask him or her to contact Nick Clegg and you can encourage other people to do the same. So you could hold a public meeting on Rio or you could do a stunt or a stall with our Trojan horse themed materials and encourage as many people as possible to debate the issue and to contact their MP.